So now let's talk about the third property, the transitivity. Well, by the way, I mean, we can simply conclude that this binary relation is not a preference relation because it fails uh, to be complete. And so remember the definition of um, uh, a preference relation. It has to be reflexive, complete, and transitive. And clearly it's not complete, so it's not a preference relation. Uh, that's a done deal. Uh, but uh, my question wasn't asking me to prove if it is a preference relation or not. It was asking me to prove if it satisfies those you know, properties, if not, uh, provide a counterexample. So now the transitivity, a binary relation, uh, well, the binary relation is, is this one, is transitive if, and now only if, now I need to pick three uh, alternatives, meaning three vectors. Uh, x, y, y, z, but they're not randomly picked. Uh, x, y, u, v, I'm sorry, and then um, u, v, r, t. So they are potentially, all right, potentially different vectors. They don't have to be the same. Uh, but they are potentially different vectors in uh, R square plus, uh, such, uh, such that if, so there's a huge if uh, then statement, if xy is at least as good as uv and uv is at least as good as rt, then xy is at least as good as rt okay so basically if p and q then r all right Just a sort of uh, statement um all right so this is the definition um is it transitive um well it, once again you can try to come up with counterexamples or try to prove it because i already know the answer uh i'm i'm going to do the short version obviously but once again, um, if you're doing some sort of analysis for the very first time, it is supposed to take sort of longer time for you. Um, so don't sort of uh, feel awkward if, if, if you can prove an argument like this, like in, I don't know, an hour. Completely normal. Trust me. I mean, um, so here I am actually going to prove it, prove that this uh, binary relation is transitive because it is transitive. And by the way, the transitivity of it exactly comes from the fact that greater than or equal to sign is transitive. All right, so how do I prove it? That may be more important. Um, so first off, I have to pick, so let's suppose uh, xy, is at least as good as uv and right this is how i prove a, 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 a conditional argument assume for conditional derivation the the, the is, is this if part is true so meaning xy is, is as good as uv and uh, uv is at least as good as rt so i need to prove that this holds all right um, but once i have these these are true uh, start doing logical deductions. What do I know from my definition? Well, remember, something is at least as good as something else, if and only if these vectors are in fact greater than or equal to uv. And same here, this uv guy, by the way, they both look u, right? Sorry. uv uh, greater than or equal to rt. Um, well, I don't know if you know this, but you know, remember, even if you don't know, a vector is greater than or equal to another one means x is greater than or equal to u, y is greater than or equal to v. And here u is greater than or equal to r and v is greater than or equal to t. So therefore, x must be greater than or equal to r and y is greater than or equal to t. I am sort of skipping this, uh, sort of writing formally, because I think it's quite obvious. Uh, so, thanks to the transitivity, thanks to the transitivity of greater than or equal to a binary relation, we know that xy is greater than or equal to uh, rt. 
But by, so let me go back to the definition again. By definition, all right, because this is true, well then you know what? XY at least as good as RT should also be true, all right? Uh, is also true. Remember, I assumed for conditional derivation that xy is at least as good as uv, uv is at least as good as rt, and I wanted to prove that xy is at least as good as rt, which I did. So that's it, I am done. And you know what? This is not an example, right? I mean, I didn't pick specific values for x and y, u and v, and r and t, like 3, 5, 2, 0. So it's not just, an, just one numerical example. This is true for any x, y, u, v, r, and t, as long as these fellows are in r plus square. I mean, actually, it doesn't have to be in plus. Even the minus numbers uh, could be included into this picture, so everything would be the same. So, therefore, that means this argument, if this holds, then the other holds, is true for any x, y, u, v, r, t, and hence, this binary relation is therefore is transitive. All right, that's it.